and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the 3D boxes tool and it's part 2 for this tool. In the first part I've just glanced over it, let us use it again. Just activate it and then drag it, you should see a box. And you also get these parallel lines in red, blue and yellow. They're parallel because I've activated the parallel icon right here. And we've got the X, Y and Z angles represented by these color lines. So the X angle is the red, it is 180, if I set it to 150, you can see that it moves. With the node points, you can adjust the box within these perspectives. And you can use the plus and minus to adjust them numerically. Let me set it to 180. Second angle is the Y angle, and it's represented by these blue lines. They're parallel here as well, because I've got the parallel icon checked. And again, plus minus to adjust it, or just type something in. Obviously, it should be in between 0 and 360. We've got the Z angle represented by these yellow lines. If you make the Z and Y angle the same, you can see that one side vanishes, so keep that in mind. So what about if we uncheck these parallel icons? Let me do that for the X axis. And now these red lines aren't parallel anymore. Instead we've got a vanishing point. So we can create one, two and three point perspectives with it. In this case, the X axis is the only vanishing point and the Y and the Z is still parallel, so represented by these blue and yellow lines. Let me uncheck the parallel for the Y axis as well and now we've got two vanishing points and only the yellow lines, so the Z axis is parallel. And the next step is obviously to uncheck them all. So we've got three vanishing points. When you check these icons again, the angle will change automatically. So it's best practice to just type in these typical values that you know, so 180, 90, 30. Sometimes if you drag it freeform and you get such crazy results like I have right here, don't bother trying to correct that with the mouse. Just check the boxes, type in your values, it's 180, 90 and 30 and we know that we have this typical box. So if you get lost, use that approach of just typing in these values, then uncheck one box, try to find a vanishing point, reposition that and that should help you in finding the right perspective. And this is how you can use this 3D boxes tool in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.